hi everyone welcome back and thank you for stopping by if you are new here hi welcome my name is lillian and in this video i'm going to be giving my take on the ban of nigerians to the uk so i'm going to break it down later don't worry it's not like the entire all nigerians have been banned or nigerians have been banned from going to the uk no i'm going to break it down but right now my body the hot i'm boiling and i want to give my take so if i keep quiet i'm not being fair because i can relate to this topic usually usually i do not like trending topics they are none of my business my channel is not for trends my channel is going to be here for a long time and i don't want to get myself involved with trends but this particular one if i keep quiet i'm not being fair to get it that is why this video is so we woke up to the news that nigerians have been banned from coming to their uk with their families that's if you are a master degree student and or intending student you are you are applying to study in the uk and before now you are allowed to bring your wife and your children your husband and your children or your children and yourself to come study in the uk while uh you guys you know figure out life you school in the uk one of you will work help the other with the bill and then after that you don't return back to nigeria you stay there so and the uk government they noticed they just came up with the with the idea of wanting to ban that way of coming to the uk if you are coming as a master degree student you're highly welcome but you're not bringing your family with you all right so you're not bringing dependents with you so why this video is is because a young nigerian guy by name i think what's his name again oh eddie eddie abi Aimudi, Amudi, Tiamu have been blamed for the misfortune of millions of nigerians and if i keep quiet you know good i go talk so if you're coming for me be prepared me i have come from a lot already i'm going through a lot so if you're dragging me to a lot be prepared we'll drag ourselves together tell me what happened is that tell you had an interview with bbc news where he talked about why nigerians are coming to the uk through that route of being you know coming to the uk as students instead of coming making known their intention just let people know why you're coming to the uk instead of being you know using this master degree thing to come to the uk to study because some of the people me self i have been seen in the uk traveling the uk getting the uk some of the people i have seen getting the uk visa to study master degree in the uk have master degree already in nigeria long ago all of a sudden they want to become students and this is becoming and a lot of Nigerians now have discovered that that's the easiest way to take your family and jackpa. So then now everybody, now even my grand, great grandmother, uh -huh, I'm going to the UK to study master degree. They will pack all their kids, their grandchildren, their wife, their husbands, their their father, mother-in-law, uh -huh, their auntie-in-law, the whole village. They will go to the UK to study master degree. They know they come back. You get it. So the UK government now noticed this and said they are putting a ban on that. So now they are blaming TMU for granting interview with the UK. Everybody is dragging this Yoruba guy. And on top of saying a Yoruba guy, they go drag everything come up for anybody. I know us, hmm? especially my brothers and sisters from the East. You guys have this dragging method and it's, it's, it needs to be turned down. TMU, with or without TMU interview, they would have still banned this whole thing they would have banned them they would have banned this whole method of traveling to the uk because it's false do you get it you going to the uk under the pretense of going to acquire education when you know in your heart that is not why yes nobody stops you from coming if that is the easiest way for you when i say coming as if i live there nobody stops you from going if that is the easiest way for you to get there but you don't have to blame a young youtuber who granted interview it has nothing to do with him who the hell is he that can stop you from going to the uk you guys should not transfer your aggression to the wrong direction blame yourselves okay let us put our hands on the chest for one minute and accept that we had fought because a lot of people have abused the method so not the young guys interview and besides there are a lot of youtubers here i mean people that are not even youtubers once you get that visa to go to school in the uk like pack the whole of your village to go to the uk to become a master degree student 
we will see you if suddenly you have a YouTube channel. And move with me from Nigeria to the UK. Move with me. I want to go and buy a book that I will take to the UK. I want to go and buy a fufu that I will take to the UK. And then if you want to come to the UK, all of you become immigration advisor. To get it, you become immigration and visa advisor. You open channels. You know, you want to give tips. You want to pepper them. You want to do all sort of things. Uh, you think the um, uh, what is it? The British government. I almost say Ghanaian government. Please, oh, my Ghana is not part of this. The, you think the British government is not watching the videos? You think so? Now everybody want to blame the Yoruba guy because he didn't do the interview. They come. Everybody want to shift the blame on him. Blame yourself. For those of you that have been there, some of you have turned immigration advisor. Eh, if you want to come to the UK, don't do this one. Or come through the student visa. They are watching the video. So why are you blaming a young Nigerian YouTuber? Why I'm taking this matter on my head? Because I'm also like Tiamu. I have gone through a lot in the hands of Nigerians. You know, blaming me for every misfortune of Nigerians in Ghana. They said I'm responsible for it. They dragged me. It just at me, eh? When you they drag me from Nigeria, it doesn't hurt me anymore because you know they pay me. You understand? You know they pay me at all. I know I know us pass. So when in this life are we gonna sit down and accept our fault for a minute and say, Oh, we have abused this thing, and that is why they are banning us. Instead of you looking for who to blame, Tiami, you did nothing, okay? He did not do anything. Tiami, you know, not be your problem. He is not the cost of your problem. You not being able to go to the UK right now with the whole generation in the name of student visa. Tiami, you is not your problem. YouTubers are not your problem. You are the problem of your problem. You know that that is not, you know, okay, so when you know something is wrong, why do you do it? why do you do it so what i'm saying is that we shouldn't blame the young guy it's not his fault hmm? we are not the only country that go to the uk to study with our families eh? we have other african countries also eh, <laughs> your eye will first go to ghana yes i live in ghana you have we have ghanaians that also go to the uk to study on student visa and migrate to the uk on student visa but you know what they will return do you get it? They will return when they have student visa expired, when they period, when they finish their study, they will come back to Ghana and reapply to go for those who want to go back. So let us for once do the right thing. Togolese, we have Togolese, we have Cameroonians, we have ben um, Beninians, we have a lot of people, we have Senegalese, we have a lot of other, we have Namibians, we have Kenyans who do the same thing, who go to the UK to study, but you know what they usually do when they are visa, when they're done with their studies, they find their way back home and they reapply if they want to go back. Do you get it? It's not the same as what you do. You have abused the whole method and now you're blaming it on a young Nigerian guy just because he came out to grant interview. Some of you are looking for it. He sold Nigerians out. He said he's a sellout. Because a certain Nigerian woman called me a sellout some other time ago. She called me sellout. Eh, you are doing this. You know, when you are doing the right thing, everybody will come against you. Those that are not doing the right thing. We don't have to blame this guy. Okay, he's not the only YouTuber that have been doing video about the UK, how to come to the UK. So who, why are we blaming him? Why are we blaming him? If you want to truly, if that is your, that, that truly, they haven't stopped you from coming to study as a student in the UK. What they are stopping you is, you stopping deceitful. Stop coming with your family in the name of that, when that is not why you are there. So if truly, genuinely, those who still want to study in the UK are welcome. So please, for a minute, let us take some time and tell ourselves the truth. Stop dragging TMU. When you see this video, stop to the drag the guy. The guy not be your problem. He's not the cause of your problem. I don't know him before. He, he don't even have to know me. Okay? But the truth must always be said. When you want to do something and you abuse it, it's going to affect every other person. You guys, you've been going to the UK. Hey, move with me to Canada. Move with me to the UK. Move. You not do YouTube for your life. You know, they do YouTube. You're not interested in that thing. You look at YouTubers to be, eh, hey, what jobless. Now you are going to the UK, you start a YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to come to the UK, you say, oh, Kada, take that and say you they do a student visa, make it take come. So you think they are blind? 
now it has cast you want to rub it on a certain young youtuber make one of the respect youtubers so youtubers are not your problem for me i have been giving adequate information about moving to ghana all the right things to do if you want to come to ghana then when it casts you people will come here hey you are a sellout try and do the right thing is what i'm saying try i don't know who is offended by this video but i wouldn't be caring but try your best to do what is right all right try your best to do what is right okay see i don't want to get into a lot of things a lot of things okay i don't want to go into details i don't want to talk about even this new place i moved to now in ghana hmm? a young nigerian guy has successfully disgraced all of us you know his Ghanaian landlord who is who trusts him who's the, you know what it means to trust a nigerian young guy a nigerian guy you know what what it means in Ghana, for a Ghanaian to trust you wholeheartedly and hand over his place and say, take, I'm going to somewhere. If people come to rent, be in charge. Do you know what that means? You collect the money, pocket it, and you think you want to. Now, by the time they come for you, you now start, uh, we all start coming. Hey, is YouTube as a cause a problem? When are we going to accept our mistake for once and tell ourselves the truth? my main purpose for this video is that you guys should leave tiamu the hell alone leave him alone not be him be the problem you are the problem of your problem you know that is false you know that's not why you're going to the uk fine that happens to be that happens to be the only available method of finding yourself you know getting away from depression and pain and anxiety and all the uncertainty that is happening in our country yeah but then don't you think you, sh you could do it the right way like you and your family apply to go you come back when they you're done with the studies return and reapply to go it's going to be a lot easier than for you to stay back there you don't want to come back again you think they are not taking notes they are taking notes they are taking notes you apply for benefits when you get there see since i came to ghana i've not applied for health care uh, this thing it's only my ghanaian daughter that has health insurance in ghana I do not have health insurance. My daughter that is Ghanaian, she's the only one that has health insurance in Ghana. And her grandmother did it for her to get it. And then my second child, my first daughter, the school insisted she do it. They did it for her in school. Myself and my niece, we do not have health insurance in Ghana. Some of these things I can just not do because I know I'm not involved in any of the affairs of the country. I know they do. Am. Do you understand? I know they do. Am. So you go there, you apply for the benefit of your great grandmother, you apply for the benefit of this, you do all these things, it will affect you and then later you start looking for who to blame. It's unfortunate that this is happening. It's affecting, is it affecting me? Have I ever thought of going to the UK to study? Not really, but if the opportunity had presented itself, why not? I would have. I have looked at it to be impossible because I can't fund it. So you understand? So. I feel good for those of you that can fund it, you can find your way, you can do anything to go, you can, you have your way of going, it's good for you. But then, you don't have to blame the young Nigerian guy, okay, his interviews alone wouldn't have stopped you from going to the UK if you had followed and abide by the rules and regulation of how to migrate to the United Kingdom. Please arrest my case here. Do the bashing down there at the comment section. And if I have time, I will come there. We will beat each other. I will strangle each other for neck. All right. Bye.